Facing a lawsuit after paramedics allowed a gunshot victim's photo to be taken while he was dying during the Black, during the Black Lives Matter protest last summer. And WGN's Megan Dwyer now is joining us now live from Cicero with that story. Megan. Ray and Micah, this happened at the supermarket right behind me. That's where this individual was shot. His family says he was not a criminal. He was a good Samaritan. And subsequently, his name has been smeared all over social media. On June 1st, when chaos broke out in Cicero during the Black Lives Matter protests, 27-year-old Victor Cazares Jr. tried to protect his local grocery store from looters. He heard a lot of commotion outside and decided to go out to see what he can help in, and that costed him his life. Someone shot him in the head. But instead of rushing him to the hospital, lawyers for his family say someone was allowed to take his photo while he died inside the ambulance and then circulated on social media. The caption, come to Cicero to loot, get a free body bag, nice headshot. It's just malicious. It, no one should have done that. His family has now filed a federal lawsuit against the town of Cicero, the two paramedics who were working, and the retired lieutenant who posted the photo to a Cicero Facebook group that night. The man that did this uh, and posted this knew nothing about Victor other than the color of his skin and that he had been shot. A spokesperson for the town of Cicero calls what happened a tragedy and says the lieutenant who circulated the picture retired years ago. They have no control of his social media. The town is still investigating, but believes the photo was taken inside of the ambulance that night, but the paramedics working were contracted out. They were not Cicero employees. I think they, they disrespected him. They completely disrespected his privacy. And to add insult to injury, whoever murdered Cazares is still out there. The family is pleading tonight for anyone who might have information about who killed him to come forward, even if that is anonymously. Uh, also, the family is saying they appreciate this opportunity to be heard, uh, but they would like to have some accountability for the paramedics that were involved that night. Night. Those paramedics allegedly work at Metro Paramedics. We reached out to that company. We did not hear back. I'm live in Cicero tonight. Megan Dwyer, WGN News.